I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. Instead of worrying about movie auditions, Maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. Okay, Bianca, you want this championship match right now? Okay, all right, let's see. As you can tell, we got the reversals back on. Might as well, you know, it's a my career. We have to build up to certain things, the majority of things, so... Screw it! Fuck it, we're gonna do it. Keep it the way that the game's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Fun? Fuck all that. You gotta build it up. You gotta build up damage, offense, defense, aerial moves, all that, bro. Reversals, momentum. Yeah, fuck that. We gotta throw from scratch. From the surface. Are you? Okay, Bianca. What do you want to do, Bianca? Which spot you want? And gentlemen, by now, I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself. What do you want? You want to overhead Belly to Belly? Yeah, I'll give you that. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down. Unless you want Bianca. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strongest. So you want a back suplex? The fastest. I'll give you a back suplex. Oh. oh, you want to go off the ropes? Okay, I'll give you off the ropes. Is that a kitchen sink? Oh, that was a shoot kick to the side. I'm sorry, Bianca. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Belly to belly. Oh, what? Thought for a second. Look at this. We're gonna do great. Yeah. I thought I could run faster than her. Nah, I got gotta go wait. Because, you know, we got to play the game the way it's supposed to be, with the reversals on. Oh. Set of limitations, yeah. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. And slingshot into the Don't suplex. A bit of an overinflated ego for Going for the cover. And kick out. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. Nope. Yep. Look at this. I'm building up momentum quick though, so I mean this match might end very quick. Of course this the reach advantage is garbage. Pinfall. Is it enough? Still a lot more fight left. Alright. Changes her fortune there. Oh, nope. Oh, that's what you get. Discus. 
Now, let me hold your hand as we walk down the street of Travis Street. Hey, you know what? Let's just wake your ass up. She's not rising to the occasion right now. And just, you know, lethal injection inbound. Let me just give you this. Bop. Drop it down. Go for the pin. One. Two. No one knows how to sell a pile driver anymore in the WWE, man. This sucks. Y'all just have no dis no respect. Back in the 1980s, that shit would have been a three count. But no. Y'all y'all ruined the Canadian destroyer. Y'all gonna ruin the pile driver with it. I see. And again, yet another counter. Yep. Bulldog. No selling that bulldog. Okay, okay. She can go for a sig watch. Oh, never mind. If she does, then I'm screwed. Oh, kick to the fucking back. Penalty kick. Oh, I swept. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't do nothing. She's gonna do her sig. Okay, never mind. She's just gonna continue doing what she's doing. Oh, she's she's trying to figure out how to do her sig. What's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Flapjack! Face first, it's over. Now, what are you gonna do now? Gets out of dodge there. She, oh, she thought. Now, let me do my sick. Maybe I'll win after this. Pick her up. Up across the shoulders. And after shock. Straight down. The Go for the pin. Is in some big trouble. Yeah, this could be the end of the road. For Still? Okay, Bianca. All right, Bianco. What? <sighs> Nothing in life can go my way. Is it fully locked in? The nope. She no. releases it. Well, that decision may very well come back to haunt her, Cole. You have to think go off the ropes. Expected this to be a difficult challenge. Go for the lever so, spin. At this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you oh, don't exactly know what's mm -hmm. about you. It could quickly lead to error. Kick the midsection. DDT. DDT. Cover. There's two. Oh, that was a two count. Normally there'd be a one count. Much more she could take. She's gonna roll out. Bo. Let me see how how far I can fly. Look at this. Holy oh, shit, I could fly far. I thought I'd be like right next to the apron. Uh, she certainly took a chance there. High risk with no I, I hear you, referee. And no luck against oh, I thought she was gonna run at me. Okay. Nope. She steers clear there. Okay. Great technical prowess from Oh, alright. Big Larriot. She's trying to figure out what to do. Off the ropes, big frog splash. Oh, she's not going for the KOD yet. Still trying to build it up for some reason. Oh, she's just trying to flex. Okay. Squatting and shit. Is she going to go for it? Oh, she's going for it. Okay. I thought she would go for a different move. Oh, I didn't even need my resiliency. Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, no sell my moves. Nope. Yup. Uh huh. Let's go for another aftershock since you're. Midsection's all damaged up. Yup. Mm hmm. Where you got with choice? Midsection. Lethal injection. And we're gonna get this three count. Let's go, referee. One, two, three. I mean, I'd give it to her, man. She tried it. But she ain't no red. I was gonna say her real name, but never mind. You know what I'm saying? Red came out with that W. I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man.
Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash-only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. All right, Truth, let's get this money. I still don't have four reversal slots, but hey. Defeat R2 to take his acting class. Well, if anyone from WWE that will love to partner up and train to be an actor, it would be R2. I'd like to see a certification because something oh I forgot what the hell this move was I was like what the hell is this but I gotta change it up because the knee strike into the poison Rana was a regular move and I was like you know what let's give it to uh the sixth side because I I think I had way too many knee strikes well I, it's still a knee strike but it's a nice setup move for my finish oh our truth okay tough spot to be in great agility there He's in big trouble. Oh, what's this? Oh, Regal Plex. Come on, our truth. Don't let a rookie like me get this W like that. Come on now. We were a former United States champion, former NWA Monday, champion, former tag team champion. A Sayo Suplex. Just vicious. Big D. Again? Okay. Nice reversal. Oh, whoa, that was a huge hip toss. Our truth doing a little dancing now. Stop pulling a leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Great evasion. Oh, oh ooh, okay, truth. He's one Come on, sauce it up during this match. I see you. I like that glove. Can I get that glove during this match? Or after I win this match, rather? Oh, I gotta take these moves now. Because, you know, I can. Yeah, I got that bit on my reverse open. Let me take the game to win the sense of One. I'll give you one, Ken. I like your truth, so that's fine. But I'm gonna undertake this shit, though. I'm getting this knee strike. There we go. Let's do a little carry position. This is a tough spot to find yourself in. That's Detonation sure. kick to the rib cage. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go to uh, the top. Like we never, never this stop. Big risk. Will it pay off? From the top. Elbow. Oh, he reversed it. My back. Great focus from he reversed the punch. Oh, truth, I am so. <laughs> Didn't expect that big ass elevation. Come on, get up. Get up. I got to sauce up this match. Come on. <laughs> Over the referee. Ah, oh, I'm not doing it right. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> what the? Man, I lost it. I mean, I haven't played this match or match this game in a very long time. So I spent it more over the past few weeks just fixing the attributes. Oh, shit. from the top turnbuckle. I don't know what he has planned out Oh, okay. Okay, truth. Oh, oh. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I thought he didn't do the little duck thing. Like, he didn't smack down Vizero 2010. Ooh, he caught me. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to walk my uh, way out of that situation. Let's get you up. Throw you into the ring. Go high risk once again. Frog splash. Oh, he did it again. That son of a bitch. That son of a meal. Oh, straight up punch with the glove. And the rolled up jeans. Oh, lie detector. What the pin combination? Ah, I'm sorry, truth. I like you though. Our truth has him in his sights. Little Jimmy. Oh, you thought. Go for the axe kick. And a little, a little bit. Of, oh, okay. Never, never mind. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, shit. Chop to the chest. Knife has chopped. 
chopped in chest. Oh, blocked it. Punch of his own bicycle kick. Oh, that was a nice job. Kick. Nice truth. Good job, truth. Trying to uh, build up my second reversal. Hopefully, I can get it here. Ah, yes. How impressive was that reversal? Super kick. No, Truth, you're not leaving this ring. And... Oh, he caught me, no! Well, I'm getting my ass back up, baby. Man, Truth is really just bringing it. He wants, you don't want this ATM work, man? Come on. Oh, my goodness. Why can't you fight like this for the WWE Championship, Truth? Putting your heart and soul out in this match. And you're dancing. Is preaching the truth as he knows it. Over and over. Nope. Knee strike. Yep. Speaking of knee strikes. Big knee. Poison Rana. Do them a little taunt. You see, that was a little my dance. Let me do a little dance. Over. Shot to the knee. Oh, God, look in that direction. Okay, I'll give you this. Last breath. I thought this man was going to kick out. I was I was really clenching onto my controller. I about to throw it across the room. But Truth lay down for the three count. And your boy is going to get acting lessons from our truth Thanks again for helping me out. All right, on the set. The director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office, ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the ranking file movies, workplace, dramas? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart wrenching suspense. Oh, well, there goes everything I had planned. Well, I did think <laughs> there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Rank and file Any four. Good actor steals the script. I, I mean, steal. Requires it before an audition. Man, I'm so you glad know, I got acting lessons from Archie. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. Thank you, Drew. If you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man. Sorry, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank and file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's going to end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. Do I get to select two? No, oh, okay. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're going to need to buy a lot of candy. For okay, so I thankfully I read it. So now I am able to comprehend what he's trying to tell me. Okay, so we're gonna buy all of these and then get a swing circle. 
Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we want to get sweet revenge. Perfect! That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I know I pronounced you dead a half hour ago, but we need to know where Donnie's gang is hiding out. They're in the basement. I saw you in the basement when I was dead. They said the grandfather says hi. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes, you absolutely nailed it. Beginner's luck. Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? Uh, I'm going to let you in the secret. There's a bomb disabling dolphins. So, uh, yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so smart. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Those are bomb disabling dolphins. So the only one who's going to be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable. Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? That wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director. The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock, country, hip-hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that. Just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. Before we get started, you should know, I'm just doing this to support a friend of mine, so I thought I'd just stand here for a couple of minutes so he thinks I auditioned. That work for you? Unconventional, but I like where you're going with this. Very avant-garde. No, you don't, you don't get it. I really don't want to part. The reluctant heroine. I dig it. No. I don't know how else to say this. I don't want to be in your movie. Sorry I'm late. The idiot I was sparring with accidentally scratched me, so I had to fire him. Then he started crying, saying how he couldn't believe his own daughter would do this to him, blah, blah, blah. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hey, Red. Didn't recognize you. Guess I just thought you were the director's homely assistant. His wife forced him to hire so he's not tempted to cheat on her. Tried that. Didn't work. Why are huh? you here? This is my turf. 
Believe me, I would have preferred to do this just about anywhere else, but I'm here because I'm using my MMA success to dabble in Hollywood. Kind of like Ronda Rousey did, only way better. Brooklyn's already been cast as our female lead, Miranda. You know what? Let's have the two of you workshop the scene where Miranda's daughter is kidnapped from the playground, and you're the stubborn crossing guard who won't let her cross the street illegally to chase after the kidnappers. Seriously? And... action. The kidnappers are getting away with Emily. I need to stop them! I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't let you cross the street until the walk signal appears. Oh, this I'm is some acting right doing here. doing my job. Yeah. Well, a mother's job is never done. <laughs> Going off script with the slap. Wow. I like it. Use that anger, Red. If you ever touch me again, the only movies you'll appear in will be the instructional kind for plastic surgeons on how to fix faces that are bludgeoned beyond recognition. Maybe a tad extreme? Ugh. Holy shit! This is what I'm talking about. This is the action I need to see. That's a wrap. Yeah, hell yeah. Is anyone filming this? Is anyone getting Why is how does he have a microphone? Anyways. Let me just give you this a uh, little bit of a uh, fisherman driver. Can I use these other uh, chairs? Nope. Yep. Why not have why not have objects that we could use? Yep. Mm-hmm. These objects are non-usable, yeah. You know, you know this classic 2K. Oh. Dude, that backhanded slap was pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's see what we could do. We're just gonna I'll put you on this couch, you know. <laughs> a little bit of a casting casting couch, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, okay, Brooklyn. I was trying to go for a little bit of a fake out punch. All right, but you're gonna get this little German suplex action. Okay, what can what can I use? Can I use that camera? Of course not. No, I can't use. It's literally nothing. I assume I could put her on this table. They got so many hats here. Wow, did someone die? Wait, what are you doing? What? Get get your bitch ass over here. Yep. Mhm. Mm Let me put you on this table. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> can't grab them boxes though. No, I can't. Why not? Why not? Can't put. Can I break the box when I do this? So honest. No. Okay. Sick. Yup. Yeah, we literally can't interact with none. None of these objects. Sick. Awesome. Red. Yup. Hit her, hit her fin, hit you. Yeah, okay. Had a little stroke right there. Oh, she grabbed her by her ears. Ooh! Spine buster. Tap! Tap out! Tap! And scene, just like old times. <laughs> Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh, he's going off the script. Oh, oh shit! Uh, security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Oh, oh what? I what the fuck, bro? What else was this a bat? Can I can I go farther? Of course not. Nope. Get that guy off my set. 
I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer, and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. Oh no. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? by settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off. But me beating you for the part a second time is going to be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So. If you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. I hate this. My first mixed tag match in this game. Holy shit, Maurice. Okay. Well, I'm not really interested in the story, to be quite honest. I don't really give a shit about the whole movie scene. I want to, hopefully, after this match, we just get the ladder match, and that's it. But, right now, we are in Movie Central with the WWE Studios production team. Maurice coming back for this one-time affair. I like that. I assume there's gonna be a cutscene, judging by the objective. My prediction is that Brooklyn's gonna come in. Oh shit! Maurice to the sidewalk slams. A quick finish. Can she do it? Oh. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. 
Oh, she's gonna tag her and her husband? Oh shit. You gonna run? How can you counter? You wanna lock up? Yo. Yeah. Come on, Olivia. I need you back here. I mean, I mean, red. I didn't mean. Who's Olivia? What's with the? What, why the animation? Please. Masterful execution by the Miz. Great counter. Impressive uh, in-ring IQ. Clothesline. A stiff one too, because I'm holding my neck. Oh, they're just tagging in and out, huh? Byron, you discuss keeping an eye out for the skull crush. Grab your little but when the Miz quick. has your defenses lowered, it's not easy to escape. Give me my lashes, bitch. I want them. I know that's a hundred thousand dollars. The skull crushing finale. I could suggest two things. Brace for impact and hope you regain slap before the pin punch. Discus. Grab her. It looks like it might all be over for another scoopy. Pinfall. I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And see. That a camera from that angle? Oh. Oh. Oh, she brought back the open. Okay. I'm not upset about that pin attempt, but you know. It is the lights, camera, action match that The Miz was talking about the fucking night before SummerSlam or the Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. This is one of those matches where I genuinely don't want to go all out on. Like, normally I would just go for the five star, maybe a four star, just for the VC. I don't really give a shit about this match. I don't give a shit about the story, period. So we're just going to go right through it. The Miz is kicking ass, though, so we got uh, we got to, you know, we gotta slow it down, brother. Slow down your pace. See, it would have been much smarter if we just had the arena all dark, but have two lights on us, since it's a lights, camera, action ladder match. You know what I'm saying? But hey. Chicken, what is this? How? <laughs> Let me just get this one. Is that a steel briefcase? Scott. Again. Hey, it seems to be working Fleet. for him. Oh, the Jeez, that's I'm hurt. gonna grab this uh, another ladder down here. Sorry, Michael. Let me get back to your question about Ms. TV. I don't think we'll see an episode after this match, but you know, and Rock. Soon, he's been doing the show for over 11 years. Like every WWE superstar. Got this ladder in the ring. Heck, even football and basketball stars have graced that. Always gonna grab this. Oh, that's not what I wanted, TV. but hey. Oh, wow. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Is she gonna Watch walk up. right by me? Oh, that'll mess up the neck. This man tried to really walk right by me. Like, ain't nothing. Form a corner strike while the Miz is in the oh, corner. The yeah, of course. Get yeah, back up. Oh. Yeah, I'm... Mm. This is a big you want to get into the ring, Miz? Right, that's what I'm talking about. Yup. And he rolls back to the outside. You know, most men you talk to okay, WWE, Miz. Wouldn't want to be in a ladder match under oh. any circumstances. So you want this to be a match where I play the way that I would usually play. Okay. Ah! <laughs> He's hurting now. God. He get out of that. Okay, here we go. Trey hammers Miz in the corner. What the fuck is this? What is this music? Oh, Brooklyn Von Braun. 
Do you blame her? She what? Miss the win, so she can have a legitimate coast. Are you really this distracted by her? Oh, thank you, Christ. This, match. this is pure jealousy. Ooh. She couldn't beat Brooklyn in the audition, so now she's taking it out on her. That's ridiculous. She's only out here to Pile help driver. her friend Trey. And oh, a side hello. Mm -hmm. accomplish that. Red is neutralized Brooklyn as they head to the back. Oh, shit. Suicide dive. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, come on, man. Come on, go off the ropes. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, here yeah, 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 sick. I'm just, uh... There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Oh, he's getting back up. Oh, shit. Setting that ladder up now. Oh, he's up for a second. I hate, I hate this. Hey, I, I hate anyone that thought that the threatening punch was a good idea. Nope, you're not going to the corner. I don't know what you're thinking, man. Oh, I was going to go for the high knee. Oh, he caught me. Nope. Oh, caught him for the power bomb. There's no space for the signature. Oh my God, the Miz is reversing. Oh, it's burning. Oh, oh the ladder. Uh, backed it up. Oh. What the? When did the Miz do flapjacks like that? Like, I, re I remember seeing him do a springboard clothesline, but that was like the first time I've seen the Miz do anything outside of his standard boring movesets. Oh, ooh, what? Where am I? I'm just... Don't tell me this is I'm going to lose. Okay, good. Thank God. I thought I was going to be stuck underneath the ladder forever. Let's try this again, Miss. Yeah, we finally connected. Okay, let's we're gonna leave that ladder right there. Walk around. Drop kick. We're gonna do this move right here. High knee. Poison Rana. Go up here. Grab this briefcase that shows the logo of the movie. Apparently, people care about this. It's like the shark match with Enzo. People don't really care, but you know, it's on the card, so. Oh, he's getting up. Come on. Don't touch me. Ah, shit. Okay. Nope. Enziguri. Dead man's hand inbounds. And drop him on his head. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? There we go. Stupid controls, man. I swear to God. I don't understand why they decided to do this. Oh, wait. They said, oh, let's make something new. Let's just change the control system. Hell yeah. And we're one. Yeah, high stakes, my guy. Life or death. Sorry, Brooklyn. I'll just have to catch you in your next build. 